Hey coach, I'm so happy you found us on YouTube. Make sure you go over and subscribe and like, go down below, hit the bell up above if you want to make sure you get anything else coming. Also, make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you're looking to become a better basketball coach, if you're looking to take it to the next level, that's why I started it, to help you become a better basketball coach. And if you're looking to take it to the next level and get uh, full season access, um, you're looking for our complete library. You're looking for two memberships and my full library. Go over to hit winthesseason.com, winthesseason.com. You can get teachhoops.com. Um, you can get a full season access, everything we do in our program that has made us one of the top programs in the country. And then um, you get my full library with the funnel down defense, rule three offense, everything you would want. Go over and check it out, winthesseason.com. And have a great day. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the podcast. I'm so excited you decided to join us. Uh, before we jump in today and talk about um, the 10 keys to kind of uh, scouting, you know, uh, doing a full scout, I'd like to give a big shout out to our sponsors. First of all, uh, troops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you're looking for the one-stop shop, or if you're looking for everything that will make you a better basketball coach, um, teachhoops.com is the answer. If you're looking to take it to the next level, you can go over to winthesseason.com. Not only do you get the Teach Hoops membership, but you get full season access membership, which is an available following everything that we do to make our program one of the winningest programs in the Midwest. And then my full and complete library. So you get two memberships in my library, you get three for the price of one. Um, and that is available over at winthesseason.com. And then also go over and check out Dr. Dish, the number one shoe machine on the market, bar none. They will take awesome care of you. Just mention us and they'll give you $450 off and they will take really, really good care of you as I take a drink of water here. All right. So the 10 things that I think are really, really important when you're thinking about scouting, you know, the full access scouting kind of look at it. Um, first of all, scouting philosophy, you know, you got to emphasize the importance of scouting as a tool for your coaching, for you internally, for your coaching growth. Um, you know, you got to look at the analytics as a, as a, as a GPS to guide your scouting. So the, the, the analytics, the numbers, the statistics from the stats teacher is your GPS. It's to guide you. Um, but, you know, but stresses the need for evidence from the game film. So anal the numbers only tell you one portion of, of the data. You've got to watch game film. And you've got to consistently watch it. So that's number one, your scouting philosophy, kind of how you look at it. Number two is preparation and game analysis. So, you know, it's through preparation, you know, you and analyze individual statistics by watching full games, not just clips. You know, I can make you look like LeBron by doing clips. Um, you know, you got to look at what, what they do well and what they don't do well. Um, compare those two specific things. So that's number two is preparation and game analysis. Number three is focus on concepts over patterns. So concepts over patterns. Um, so focusing on shot location, how they dribble, where they dribble, um, rather than specific plays. And I've noticed this is definitely at the high school level. You know, are they right-handed? Are they left-handed? Do they have a specific move that they know? Um, you know, do they perform well against pressure or not perform against pressure? Those kind of things. Um, compares them, you got to, you want to compare teams of similar styles. Like I'm playing, we're playing X. They're like Y. All right. So focus on concepts over patterns is number three. Um, simplicity in the scouting reports. This is over time. I've definitely had to do this. Um, we've gotten it down to a couple pages, um, bullet points rather than instead of paragraphs, um, you know, have them participate and know like every time if you've ever watched, if you go to if you go win the season you've ever seen me run one of um my film sessions that i will talk about i will have them go after they've gotten the scouting report what are the three key things and i'll call you know what's the key thing with this specific team so simplicity um less, less is more is number five um 
don't overload your players with information. Uh, you know, you want you want it concise. You want bullet points of the opposing players. This player likes pull up jumpers, and is weak on his left hand. Period. Um, the significance of watching entire games for better understanding of context, sub patterns, team dynamic is important. So you gotta watch complete games. I know with with synergy and huddle, we don't watch as many complete games. This it helps you understand the team beyond what the specific analytics and the small parts. So in film study, the importance of film study and the importance of watching entire games, not just partial games, but entire games. Um, adapting defensive strategies. Um, I think this is important. Um, adjusting, uh, you know, ball pressure or, or focusing, taking away a specific opponent, you know, especially if you're junior high or high school level, can you do those, those own things? No, the, so that was a, a adapting defensive studies. Number eight is scouting your own team. Um, I always have people come in. I always have people scout suggestions for how we're running practice suggestions how we're prepping suggestions on how we're doing things um so and number nine is terminology and practice drills consistently use what you're talking about so that you can make in-game adjustments more efficient and effective make sure your glossary your words are the same thing so you're using the same terminology along with the practice drills that will correlate to the game um, and then you got to be dedicated to the to the scouting process. Um, that's number ten. Is you just you got to be bought in. You, you got to spend the time. You got to grind. Uh, I've told the story of multiple times of me and VHS tapes and VCRs and recording and spending my coaching money on VCRs. I who, who knows where those are anymore. So let me go through these again. Number one. Um, scouting have a scouting philosophy number two preparation game analysis number three focus on concepts over patterns number four simplicity in scouting reports which co correlates to number five which is less is more number six is the importance of um, watching film watching the entire film i wrote it is in film study but make sure you're watching entire game films uh, number seven is adapting a defensive strategy. I think that's the best thing you can do um, from a, a scouting report. Number uh, eight is uh, scouting your own team. Number nine is making sure your terminology and your practice drills correlate to what you're going to have to do in the game. And number 10 is make sure you're dedicated to the scouting process. Let me know if I've missed anything or anything you think is important in scouting teams um, and moving forward. And have a great day. Bye. Hey, coach. I hope you like this. Make sure you go over and check out Teach. Make sure you subscribe and like. Make sure you go over, leave some comments if you have any questions or anything like that. I'm here to help. I'm here to serve. Go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. The one-stop membership for everything that you would need. And if you're looking to take it to the next level, you're looking for a mentor, you're looking for my own boxer, you're looking for everything, my library, everything that's included, go to winthisseason.com. Talk to you soon.